loves it's your girl april so today's video is going to be a get ready with me makeup tutorial somewhat it's not really a tutorial it's just like um my favorite look that i've been doing for like probably like the past two weeks it's something really simple and you don't really need too many colors on your eyes because let me tell y'all something when i start going outside the box and adding too much colors it start looking like mud so i'm not no makeup guru i'm not no beauty guru i just do what is acceptable to me so as you can see i got me a little setup going on um i'm definitely not on um location that would be really that would be really nice if i was but i'm not um you can actually get these tapestries from rose gal roll wholesale dress lily they're all basically the same site or their sister sites because they're all affiliated with each other so if you see me chewing gum i do apologize um because the medication that i take just to help my metabolism you know because i do go to the weight doctor it sometimes tends to dry my mouth out a lot and even though i drink loads of water trust and believe girlfriends it don't seem like it's enough like my mouth still be dry so i've already went ahead and put my eyebrows on because if i put them on on camera sometimes it just takes forever but in case you guys are wondering what did i use i used to use anastasia pomade dip brow but i stopped using it because it would dry out so quick so i tried to find something that was like you know an equivalent of it but not the same price the ardell pomade dip brow is really good this one here is really really cool it comes with three different colors in there and it's six dollars on amazon prime i'll definitely post a link for you guys below um this is a three color set they also have ones that have just two colors this stuff is long wear durable so you can go to sleep and your brows are still going to be on so like if you don't like doing your brows like that you can definitely get this the name of the brand is called music flower i don't really think that's the name of the brand i just think that's the name of the seller you know, you could basically stamp your name on whatever you want. And you get this little cute mirror. And you get a brush right here. Which I don't even use the brush. I use um, this one here, which is by the Brow Gal. Because I like the definition of it. So I use that one. And it comes with the black. So you can use it as eyeliner too. And this is the, um, I think it's Cappuccino. Which is like a really pretty brown. And then this one right here, which is like a medium brown. So the first thing that I'm going to tell you guys, I did clean my face and moisturize it. And I use this right here, which is by Clear Proof. It's by Mary Kay. This is the blemish control toner. So you guys, let's get into this makeup tutorial because I don't really want it to be too long. So the first thing I'm going to use is my cover, uh, my concealer by LA Girl Pro Concealer for under my brows. But prior to that, I'm going to prime my face with the Kiss New York professional this is the pro touch mattifying primer i use this because my face is so oily that it helps it doesn't um like it's not 100 percent but let me tell you my makeup will last like a lot longer if i put this primer on i noticed and i actually put it on my eyes too because they get a little oily Okay, so now I'm going to use the next one, which is a darker color because that's how I do it all the time. It just conceals it better. And I don't really want it so white like that. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of like set the concealer on my eye. So sometimes I'll use this LA Colors Mineral because it's just cheaper and sometimes I'll use like this MAC um, Studio Fix Press Powder.
Now I'm gonna go ahead into this Morphe palette. This is like one of my favorites. This is all like those burnt orange rustic colors and they're all matte. I also do have the shimmer one, but I really don't really use that one. First color that I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna use this color right here. I'm just going to put it in above my crease. The next color I'm going to go into is the same palette and it's going to be this color right here which is like a rustic orange kind of like rust color and I love it. You kind of like smoke out the bottom with it. I'm just going to bring it all the way in to right here. And just a little bit. Okay, not a lot, like I said. So now I'm done with that for right now. So I'm gonna go into this, the, um, the eyeliner slash eyebrow pomade, and I'm gonna use the black, and I'm also going to use this brush because I use it for my eyebrows and my eyeliner because it's just really, really different. You guys know I don't really like to do the eyeliner because my eyes are so hooded, so it takes me a minute sometimes. sometimes Okay guys, so I went ahead and I put the eyeliner on off camera. Now being that I already used my primer, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this Black Ups Cosmetic Tinted Moisturizer. I do like this because it gives me a little bit of hint of color, especially because my foundation is not like really thick, um, but it does give me a little hint of color, So and it is also mattifying, so I'm going to go ahead and use that first. Hi. Me.
So I do like to use these Real Technique brushes because they're just really good. I like the facial ones the most and the Beauty Blender sponge. So as I was talking about my foundation, I do love this Ordinary. It's called the Ordinary Color. It's really fairly cheap. I got this through the UK, I think. Um, they have like a huge assortment of colors. So the color that I'm in is 2.1Y, which is for yellow undertones. So being that this is a little bit thin, it's not real thick consistency because I don't really like cake face. And like I said, it's kind of watery but it gives you really great coverage depending on what type of brush you use and I did notice that when I use the beauty blender I have to put more but when I use my eco styling brush which is very dense I get like the perfect coverage and I don't have to use as much So this stuff gives like the perfect coverage. I think I paid like six bucks for this bottle. It's one point, it's just one fluid ounce, but it lasts a while because you really don't need a lot. What's also really good is comparable somewhat to it is the LA Colors Pro coverage. I do like this as well, and they're kind of like in the same color family. So sometimes I switch back and forth. So now that I have that part on, I'm gonna head and I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes so the first one I'm going to use is the same colors that I use for my brows I'm going to go ahead and use the medium beige first and then on top of it I'll go ahead and I'll use this one which is creamy beige I'll either use creamy beige or pure beige they're kind of like close Then what I'll do is I'll set this um, right here with the LA Colors Mineral because it's just setting power. I don't, so I'll use this just light handed. I'm not going to like bake or do all of that because for one, um, it'll dry my skin out. And then what I'll do again is I'll do the same step all over, meaning I'll take this here and just dab a little. Next color, the reason why I do that is because if I use the powder and then without any, um, just use the powder alone, my face will look a little dry and you'll also see like fine lines or whatever. But if I do it like this, it also sets it, but it doesn't increase or anything like that. Now to do some contouring, I'm going to take this which is black by Black Opal, it's their foundation stick. This is in the color Beautiful Bronze. And then I'll go into my Too Faced contouring color, which is the Dark Chocolate Souffle. This is one of my favorite and one of my Wet n Wild brushes. And I'll just kind of like go over that. This is the Black Oval was basically to allow this to adhere better.
just to make it a little bit more bronzier, I'm going to use this Becca Cosmetics. This is the um, Sunlight Bronzer. I'm also going to contour my nose, so I'm going to go back into the Too Faced. Set my face by using the MAC Studio Fix in color NC42. Now for my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the palette that I already used, which was Morphe palette. And I'll just take like a brown color. And now for my highlight. So I got these by Amazing Cosmetics. These are primers, and you can just use them alone. They don't really work as a facial primer because they just don't. So they sent me three different colors, glow, rose, and bronze. So the glow is, I just use it to more or less make my, my highlight adhere. So it's just basically like this white color. And the bronze is like a brown, and the rose is like a rose pink. Take my beauty blender, and I'll put a little bit here. Then these are really great to prime your highlight with. So that is the glow one. And it gave me like a really nice light highlight. So what I'll do then is I'll take my Becca Cosmetics highlight. Because like I said, it makes it adhere a lot better. That's if you want to go extra. And this one is in the color Lilac. Um, Lilac. And then I'll take the other one, which is one of my favorites. This is Champagne Pop. And I'll just take this. And that is almost it for my lips. I'm going to put on my lip balm because my lips are dry. And lately I've been loving this um, MAC lip pencil that I've had forever. Like when I say forever, like back since 2010, 9, whatever. This is in the color Spice. And that's it. So that was my go-to product. So this has been my favorite look for like the past two weeks now. But so yeah, girl. Mm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial or this video. You know, I do apologize if it was long. But I really wanted to show you guys one of my favorite looks that I've been doing. So I love you guys. Stay tuned and stay delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up. Let me know what you think of this look. And I'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.